So what's the difference between somebody that is fearless and somebody that is courageous? First, we have to understand the difference between someone that is courageous and somebody that is a coward. Coward! Goddamn! Coward! Right, because most people assume that someone who is courageous doesn't experience fear. But that's not true at all. The coward and the person that has courage experience the same kind of fear. There's no difference. The only difference is the person that has courage can move in that fear. They can speak and do in that fear. Someone that is a coward, they can't move in it. They'll miss most of their life because they're too afraid to do what they want to do. And the aim of this is the more you become courageous, the more you move in this fear, right? The more you make yourself do something you don't think you can do, the more you're going to obtain this spot of fearlessness where you no longer experience unneeded fear like that, right? And I say unneeded because there is always going to be some kind of biological fear that's needed, right? Like if I walk by a stove and I go to put my hand on it and it's hot still, there's a biological fear that needs to be there so I can rip my hand off quick and save myself, right? My body. Right, but most other fears that we have as humans is psychological and it's unneeded, right? And it, and it keeps you from, from living your life. So the more you go to this spot of just being courageous, the more you obtain a kind of fearlessness to where you don't ever have to mess with that again is, is the aim. That's my point. So my first point. Also note and keep in mind that there's more to this fearlessness than just being able to do and say things you normally wouldn't be able to do, right? This is to make your being a state of compassion, a state of love, because look at it like this. So long as there's any kind of fear in your being, that's why you experience anxiety, worry, hate, selfishness, anything that's negative, right? That's an expression of fear. So it's just when you are put in a tough situation that you really see how much fear is in your being, right? And throughout the rest of the day, fear and lack is where you operate from. And it's not, it doesn't allow you to be yourself, right? So let's say you're in the gas station and somebody doesn't see you in line and they accidentally cut you off. You start to get super angry. It's just an expression of fear. So what would it take for you to just forgive them in a way and not be mad? That would take courage, right? And the more you face yourself with courage, you become a state of compassion, a state of love, which compassion is the highest, but it's for another video. You want your being, this is why in spirituality they say it's like a flowering, right? Because most people express their love, right? Their compassion as a give-take relationship, right? But a flower, you know, any kind of flower, it's fragrance, it's perfume, it's always given in that way, right? Whenever somebody passes by, you get its beauty. You can smell the fragrance. You can smell the perfume of it, right? It's almost as if it's giving it to you. But even when nobody's there, that, that perfume, that fragrance is radiating, right? That's its state of being. That's what your state of being should be. That's what my state of being should be. It should be a state of giving that doesn't need any kind of receiving on the other end of it, right? It's just a fragrance, a radiation. Until you attain that, until I attain that, we're going to suffer, whether it's from fear or lack. And you're just not going to be able to be who you want to be. You're going to go back and forth from being depressed, happy, excited, angry. You have to find that center is my point. And the only way you're ever going to do that is by facing your fears, right? I can say face love, but most of us don't know necessarily what that is in a way, right? We experience it, but we don't know how to put it into words, right? So fear is something we all experience. If you can make yourself face that more, you will fall into yourself, which is just love, a state of compassion, right? Contentment. Yeah. Spiritual tools.